Now let's go ahead and take a look at the PEX crimper that I was sent us out. This is the F2098 ratcheting crimper. It comes pre-calibrated and they do also send the go no-go gauge. To test that all you do is just close the crimper all the way closed, take that no-go gauge, stick it into the jaws and it should slide all the way in to that line right there but not go any further. If it goes any further then it needs to be adjusted or if it won't go in it needs to be adjusted to do that you'll have to release this and turn the screw which is on a cam but as you can see this one is calibrated from the factory this kit that uh, I was sent out came with 20 PEX clamps in the half inch and as you see I've only got a couple left and then it also comes with 10 of the 3 quarter inch. Let's go ahead and try it out. See how it works. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that that uh, end of the tube is straight. Which that one is really nice and straight. I just used my pipe cutters that I have. With that in place, we can go ahead and take our clamp. Slide it over, put it in position, and as you see, these PEX clamps are just tight enough that they can slide up and down the tube, but they're not going to fall. And you want to make sure you're about an eighth of an inch from the seat of the fitting and that the tube is all the way to that seat. So right about like that is correct. Now we're going to take our ratcheting pliers. Now we're going to take our ratcheting crimper. Make sure it's all the way open. Put the jaws there. And we are going to start crimping. As soon as you hear that first click, it's locked in. It's not going anywhere. Now we can really get on it. It's not take that much pressure, as you can see, one-handed. I've got it all the way shut. Now it's going to release. And... There it is. Looks really good. Nice solid crimp. Let's go ahead and do another one. Now one thing I couldn't do with this uh, PEX uh, clamp is I could not put the clamp in, set it to the first tooth on the crimping tool so that I can move it around and get it in place. Not with the ones that the I was sent. Unfortunately, I tried it and I was unable to slide it over the pipe and fitting. I do have some from Shark Bite of the clamps. I was able to clip it on the, get it onto the first uh, tooth. Let's set that down. We can go ahead and put our tube on. And again, we want to make sure it's fully seated all the way to that uh, shoulder. And let's go ahead and, as you see, I can slide my clamp over. It's in position. It's not going to fall. And now all I got to do is just go ahead and squeeze. And once it's all the way there, it releases. There it is. Real nice, easy operations. Let me find uh, one more of the iWIS style clamps real quick just to show you. Here's, here is one. Right there. Uh, find one of the shark bites so I can show you the difference. Alright, so let's take a look at how this one is designed. And this is where the jaws bite down on it. You see how it's almost uh, up and down. Whereas this one already has what looks like a partial crimp to it. That allowed that jaw, the jaws to lock that uh, clamp in place and still be able to put it over the pipe. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that on this one right here. I'm just going to take it down to that first notch like I did the other one. We can see how far away we are. And 
and that's one tooth right there. So this would be uh, acting like I did on that last crimp. Now let's try to get this tube on. As you see, I can't get the tube on. So we'll go ahead and release that one. It's no good anymore. We'll make one more with this. So we're going to come in. Got it partially set. It's not going to go anywhere. Now for this one, we're going to put this over the fit, over the pipe first. And push that. Make sure it's all the way down to that shoulder again. Bring that over. And grip her down. There we go. So looking at the crimp tool, great crimp tool, got a, uh, oh. so let's take a look at the crimp tool. Real nice. It's got uh, like a rubberized handle, comfortable, uh, easy to operate. The gear ratio. All right. So what do I think? I like it. It's a nice, fairly compact but long enough that you do have your mechanical advantage leverage. It's got some comfortable grips on it. Does have adjustment if you have to adjust it. The go no gauge. The crimps themselves. Uh, I would like to see uh, something a little bit uh, different, something similar to, as far as the crimps, they're not bad. It's just that you, okay and action all right so what do i think about the crimping tool for my OS? feels like a great bang for the buck again uh it's just long enough that it's got some good mechanical advantage so you're not straining but it's not so long that you can't get it into some tight spots uh i have some of uh, the video of the project i did yesterday uh, playing in the background and it was some tight areas i did have to kind of work it in there, get it in there, but I was able to get the job done with it. Uh, stainless steel crimps, stainless steel clamps, they're good. Um, I wasn't able to uh, lock the uh, clamp onto the tool uh, and then put uh, over the tube, but that's just the clamp. It's not the tool itself. Uh, so. All right, so what do I think? I think it's a pretty good product for uh, price point. Uh, small enough, but yet long enough that you do have your... Uh... Well, there it... So what do I think about this one? I think it's a pretty good product for the value. Comfortable grips, long enough that you're gonna have a decent mechanical advantage. It's not gonna be too difficult to crimp your uh, crimps. It's not going to be too difficult to crimp the clamps on the PEX tubing. It uh, has adjustability if... Uh... Okay, in action. All right, that's it. Real easy tool to use. It's got enough uh, le length in it for... <laughs> in action. Not a bad product for uh, the price. It's got... Uh, long enough handles to give it that uh, mechanical advantage so it's not too hard to uh, compress your clamps to get them uh, on your pecs. Uh, but yet it's small enough that it can get into some tighter areas and uh, do the job. It does have uh, adjustability to adjust if uh, you do have to adjust it because... <laughs> and action. All right, bang for the buck. Pretty good product. It's short enough to get into some tighter spots, but yet it's long enough that the mechanical advantage is there that it's not gonna have to take in action. And action, well, there it is. Not a bad product for the price. Uh, handles are long enough that you've got your mechanical advantage to get the clamps 
clamped around the pecs properly, but yet not so long that you can't get into some of those tight spots. Um, so other than that, all right, so what do I think? Comfortable handles, long enough that it gives you the mechanical advantage to get the crimps in action. All right. Decent product uh, in action. All right. Good product for the price. Uh, it's got uh, comfortable grips on it, long enough handles that it gives you enough mechanical advantage so that you can get your clamps crimped over your pipe properly, but yet not too long that uh, you can't get into some of the tighter spots. Uh, it does come with the Go No Gay gauge to make sure that you are calibrated. If not, if you do need to adjust, you can uh, release the, the screw and adjust. If you get part way through a uh, crimp and something goes wrong where you have to release it, you can still come in and press that lever and release it. This kit that they sent me out came with 20 of the half inch clamps and 10 of the half inch clamps came with 20 of the half inch and 10 of the three quarter inch clamps, the go no gain gauge, and the tool itself. Not a bad product. And action. Great bang for the buck. We've got. So, what do I think? Not a bad product. Comfortable in the hand. Arms are long enough that it gives you a good enough mechanical advantage to get your uh, clamps crimped onto the PEX pipe properly, but yet not too long that you can't get it into a tight spot. Uh, it is pre calibrated from the factory, but they do give you the go no go gauge to make sure that it is. And if need be, release the screw and adjust it to get it uh, uh, calibrated. This kit came with 20 of the half inch stainless steel clamps and 10 of the three quarter inch stainless steel clamps. So not a bad price for the kit, good quality. Uh, this going into my toolbox for the trailer. All right, I hope this helps you uh, making your choice for your next uh, PEX crimper tool for the stainless steel clamps. Until next time, have a great day.